So, Jim, this next one, I'm going to try to summarize it. I think I know what you're trying to say. But uh, why, don't, why don't I just go into it? You can, but let me set it up. Oh, fine. <laughs> so, oh, let me do it. <laughs> Jesus. <fuck. laughs> so I've been talking a lot about the Resident Evil 3 remake, and obviously everyone is now, okay, just keep remaking all the Resident Evil games. There's a small small amount of people that are really gung-ho about a Code Veronica remake. I'd be for that just because I still think that original game is a bit overrated. I think that would be more make more sense than with the one we're getting next yeah they're talking about resident evil 4 and here's the deal a lot of people have commented on this and it's very divisive but where to the point where everyone's like why do you need to remake that game it's new enough um they've already had the hd remake of the that game which just made the graphics sharper so it's like what are you going to do to the game right so some of the things they've talked about were um add running and then really like what else could they do besides the graphics so all right here's what i thought about with this is what would be really cool you make resident evil 4 a horror game not an action game which is ultimately what it was right except for that first village where you kind of still maintain that horror feel if you give it it, they're obviously going to use the same engine. Like Resident Evil 3, make no mistake, it's way, way, way more action-oriented than Resident Evil 2. But it still maintained a better level of horror. And Resident Evil 4, there, the horror was just downplayed so much. And one of the weird things, I feel like you can't have lighting that's done too well, meaning too bright in a game, and be a horror game. And that game is, like, everything's super bright. Oh, yeah. So, so if you give that a dingy feel... You make it more horror, and uh, fine, if you want to make the goddamn enemies still the same ones from Resident Evil 4, even though I don't like them because they're not zombies, give it the same physics, though, as these Resident Evil games where you have the gore really upped. Um, y- you know, like, then I could see you're not really changing too much Um because I really want, wouldn't want them to fuck with the story. Like, I wasn't even thrilled they fucked with the Resident Evil 3 story as much as they did. Um, but, yeah, just give it a fresh coat of paint. Make it more horror. And maybe do something like really make ammo scarce. Really make it a lot harder to kill things. Don't You don't need to throw uh, 50 enemies at you at, in some of those little arena areas. Like, just make it more horror-based. But keep all those action elements like Resident Evil 3 did. That would be enough of a remake where I'd be like, okay, that's worth it. And I think it would be new enough where people could appreciate that. Yeah, and that's, you pretty much hit on everything I was going to hit on. And it's kind of funny because, like, people people still have their bonus strong for RE4, man. Like, even something as simple as, like, a Twitter conversation because, like, Justin Wang was like, why are they even doing this? What more can they do? And I wrote down, I don't know, besides adding running, I don't know what else they could put in there. Dude, shitstorm after that of people going, uh, actually, the fact that you had to, you know, stop and shoot added to the tension as an intentional design choice. And then other nerds going back and forth going, actually, it was a design flaw because of the limitations of the controller and the system at the time. And it just kept going and going. And I was like, oh, my God, shut the fuck up. I just knew the only thing the, the original game was missing. But, like, at this point, like, do you think they keep all the enemies? Do you think, like, they keep the little Napoleon dude or they just overhaul him to not be as goofy? Like, do you think they take the quips out between levels and shit like that? Yeah, well, given how... Because that's the thing that people really like about it, too, though. I mean, that, that, I mean, that guy was the... Him and Ashley, like, the corny dialogue was, like, the orig- all the original Resident Evils were known for their corny dialogue. And then even with the Resident Evil 1 remake, they toned that away. And Resident Evil 2 and this 3, <clears throat> there is cheap one-liners, but they feel like bad action movie things versus, like, that 90s we grew up with, like, a Jewel sandwich and all that shit. Like, right. And, like, you're saying that. So I think, yeah, all the cheesiness goes away. You make it a much more serious game. Um, 
Yeah, I, I, I think you just, I mean, that Resident Evil 4 was the final game where you had the full cheese. Like, think about, since we went through them, think about 5, think about 6. Yeah, and 5 seven. and like, 6 were too serious about they it. They were all so. super serious. Yeah, so, Revelations even, and I love that game, but it was super serious. Yeah, so, and I, you know what, I'm even fine with that. Like, I, I, I understand that the game's we grew up with and we like cheesiness we like that those terrible one-liners and bad translations whatever you want to call them right you're you're gonna get rid of all that i still think you had the napoleon dude because he was a especially his boss fight was really interesting right and he was a central Um, character so so i think yeah you just really make it kind of like what everyone felt when they did the resident Evil one remake because it did feel soon like it wasn't super soon but that would roughly be about the same timeline as, you know, if they do make this Resident Evil 4 remake where it's like, well, okay, we know the PlayStation 1 graphics weren't great, but do you really need to remake it? And when they did, you went, oh, shit, okay, this is this is much better. Yeah, so, I mean, this is a way longer gap, too. Like, the first of the remake was, what, like maybe six years, seven years, where this is going to be like 15 years of uh, difference. Is it? So, wait, for Resident Evil 1 came out, what, 96? 96, 97. 97. Yeah. And then a remake was... O two, O three, maybe? Maybe a one. Okay, yeah. so yeah. So you're talking six, seven years versus... Yeah. Even though the jump from, what do you call it, the PS1 to like the GameCube era was such a jump. Whereas mm-hmm. the jump these days isn't... I mean, the jump from a PS2 game to, you know, the next generation or the tail end of this one is just as crazy, but... Oh, dear God. I just got a terrible image. Please. If you're going to do this remake, don't make it VR and first person. People seem, to, people seem to like the VR first-person version of 7. No, no, no. I love Resident Evil 7 as first-person, but that's because it worked for that game because you literally never had more than three enemies on the screen at once, and the purpose wasn't tight, crisp shooting and all that. Like, right. You would have to make... Then you'd have to completely butcher everything about Resident Evil 4, and you'd literally... It, it would be a completely different game. Like, I'm fine. You can... Make it not zombies. You can make it multiple enemies. I'm just saying, make them a little tougher. Make them more like the bullet sponges that they are in RE2 and kind of in RE3. And <clears throat> let's see what happens with that. Like, make it a darker, grimier, like a legit horror game with just action controls. And I'd be fine with that. Because you and I have talked about it. I mean, there's no doubt Resident Evil 4 resurrected the Resident Evil series and right. kind of re- revolutionized this over the shoulder action kind of horror games. So yeah, it, it's understandable. Everyone's freaking out, but at the same time, it's kind of inevitable. You're going to kind of have to, you want to cash in on these remakes while you can. And that's arguably the most popular from the entire series. Now here's the follow up to that. Do you think they're cashing in a little bit too much? Are we going to hit that other cycle again that we always do with Resident Evil where people love it, people hate it, gets rebooted, people love it, people hate it, gets rebooted, remade, people love it? Like, you think we're going to hit that even faster than we were before? Yeah. I'm worried about that. Because Capcom being Capcom, man, they are going to milk, they milk, 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 milk until it's dry and freaking dust. That's almost why I kind of want them to do code veronica like get this system out like get the current gen get the the models and and um like everything you're running off of this current system like out of your like like do resident evil code veronica get it done bust that last nut yeah like get something new built up for the next gen system and do that for Resident Evil 4. Like, take the time to really build it up. Because if you just give us the same... Uh, uh, fuck, the word's escaping me. But if you gave us the same system... That the same RE2 Res- engine, just yes, like... Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That same engine, then people will start being like, okay, really? Like, unless you do something, and do you really want to fuck with the writing or the story or anything? So it's like... This will be the make or break for them. I think either it'll like sell like hotcakes and get really well received, or it'll be like, wow, they really fucked this up. And 
I don't care what they want to sell us. Nobody's going to buy it for at least a while until they make Resident Evil 8, <clears throat> which is what, what I hope they focus on more because Resident Evil 7 was so goddamn good and they went back to that pure horror and it's a new story. Like, I want them to do that. Don't give us so many remakes. Right. Now I'm with you on that one. It'll be nice to see like a brand new one. And yeah, use the 7 engine or just expand on that one. Whatever. Yeah.